Hello and welcome to On Your Lane. This is the best place for ambitious people who are taking charge of their lives, making that impact, making that income, and living fulfilling lives. How are you doing? Today we're talking about becoming an expert at anything. Why? Why should you become an expert at anything? Well, this is the thing. Everyone wants to do well in life. Everyone wants to get ahead in life, right? Right? I hope it's true. But what I discovered then was the people who had it easy. Well, when I say easy, that's really up for discussion. It's not really that easy. But the people who were able to draw the success, who were able to have that impact, you know, in the intro, I say impact and income, right? The people who are able to attract that and to draw it up and have a great impact are the people who are experts in their field. And I know every time we say expert, we're thinking PhDs, we're thinking doctors, we're thinking these scientists who stay in their labs all day, but not really. What I mean by expert is being so good, so good at what you do, the way you do it, so good at what you carry and what you offer, so good that you can't be ignored. I think that's the mandate God gave every human to become an expert at what they do. Truly, when I read Genesis and I see God say, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, I'm seeing God telling you, you have something within you, use it to make fruit. And when you make that fruit, don't stop. Multiply that fruit. When you multiply that fruit, don't stop. Fill the earth with that fruit. And when you fill the earth, subdue rain on that earth with that fruit. And that's why I believe everybody should be an expert. When you're working as a gardener, you better be an expert at gardening. When you're working as a maid, be an expert at maiding. When you're working as a singer, be an expert as a singer. When you're working as an accountant, be an expert at accounting. When you're working as a preacher, be an expert at preaching. Whatever you do, God has called you to be fruitful in it. To multiply, fill the earth, subdue, and dominate. So that when people are thinking, hey, we're thinking of somebody who should be cleaning this place and they're thinking of you. They're thinking of somebody who should cook in this place. They're thinking of you. You know, there are people who know you run a business, but they think, eh, no, let's just order food from somewhere else. And they're not hating. It's just because you're not an expert at it yet. So you should be an expert at what you do because that is the call of God on your life. And if you believe God, you should know that he never calls you to do something that he never equips you to do. So if he calls you to multiply, feel the earth dominate, to be an expert in something, that means he has equipped you with the materials that you require to really be an expert in that area. Makes sense, doesn't it? But really, why should you be an expert? Well, for me, my reason is really kind of deep. Because I'm born in a third world country, I see a lot of black and need around me. What I do in my life matters in a big way, not just for my well-being, not just for my fun, not just for my joy, even though that is included, but also for the people around me. Okay, I carry so many people and being educated, being exposed, being privileged, like I have been privileged, even though I'm in this third world country, gives me a responsibility to pull as many people as I can up. You see, most of the times we look at first world countries and admire them, but they did work. Okay, we can have debates about history and everything. That's not what this is about. But they did some work. They developed some systems. And I feel that I have an education. I have a gifting. I have an enlightenment that allows me then to also create systems that pull my brethren up. Okay, that's a responsibility I feel. And that's why for me, I must be an expert. Why must I be an expert? Because I need to attract wealth. I need to create impact. I have work to do in my space. And it might be different for you. Okay, We have different purposes and we're drawn to different results. So you have your own work as well marked out for you. I don't mean to make you feel like, okay, I'm also in a third world country, so I should also do that. No, we are called to different missions. You don't, you're not called to carry my burden or to carry my mission. You're called for your own mission. So I want you to identify why you must become an expert, why you should desire impact and income. Why? Because that why will be what will draw you forward. I know my why. My why is super strong. So when I work hard, even on this YouTube channel, even on this podcast, I work really hard. 
I don't get as much likes or whatnot, but I'm like, you know what? There is work to be done. So we're not pity partying over here. We're doing what must be done. And then marketing like we should, we're serving who we must serve, doing the best because we have work. We have work to do. We need that impact. We need that income. We need ourselves out there taking care of our own and building our own systems. That is my why. I told you it was pretty deep. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you have a why that is deep or anything, really. Just share your why so that we can encourage each other and cheer each other on. So how do we become experts that attract impact and income for our different missions? Number one, you have to understand which results move you. What results move you? What issue in the world moves you? We are moved by different things. And that's why I was saying my burden should not be your burden. Poverty burdens me. It shouldn't burden you. It doesn't have to, unless it already does, which is fine. But people are burdened by different things. People are burdened by orphans. People are burdened by education systems. People are burdened by hospital systems. People are burdened by market systems. People are burdened by churches, whatever it is. Resorts that move you, what are they? What is the burden you carry? What is the problem that makes you so angry in this world? You're like, I need to fix this. What is that? Is it hungry children? Is it financial systems that don't click? Is it accounts that don't look balanced? <laughs> I'm trying to just be as wide as possible because I don't want you to feel boxed in to say, okay, mine is not really about poverty or world hunger. So does it mean it's not really worthwhile? No, we are different. We're drawn to different things. You might be from a first world country, so you might not relate to the things I would relate to, but you still are driven to something. You have a burden. So you must understand that burden. What issue in the world you want to solve that is where we start number two what do you carry that can solve this problem a thing that happens sometimes is because you're moved by something it's a burden you feel like you want to solve it all that's not possible you can't solve all the world problems even if you had all the money in the world you see what you can do however is to identify the gifts the talents the skills the knowledge that you have that can make some sort of dent in the issue that you have so if I would go with maybe ending world hunger, you might then go, all right, I could start a farm or I could really manufacture some food, low cost food that is healthy. All right. So you are starting somewhere. If you can't manufacture, you might realize that I need too much money to manufacture. So maybe you might not start a whole factory, but you have skills. You went to school for food nutrition. So you could start somewhere, maybe just by creating a low cost, easy recipe that you just make even by hand with your mortar at home, you make it and you test it out locally. Okay, you're using what you carry to solve that problem. Because most of the times we think I'm ending world hunger. So I'm looking for 50 million. Bill Gates, give me 70 million so I can start this. No, that's not how you become an expert and create legitimate impact and income. You have to start with what you have. You have to use your expertise. That's how you will then have a legitimate impact and legitimate income. So what do you carry? Start with that. Explore solutions and then start to roll them out on a small scale so that you can understand how they're working, how they're impacting the environment. Are they really solving the problem? Because sometimes you might think, I'm going to use my talent this way and you go on the ground. It doesn't work like that. Really, what do you carry that can make some dent on the burden that you have? The third thing you must do is learn, get educated. I don't mean go to school, go to class, though you might have to if you're in some other professions or if your burden is maybe you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, whatever it is. Some professions require you to study and get qualifications, but most of them don't really require that. They just require self-education. You must educate yourself about the problem. You must educate yourself about your gift and your talent and your solution. Educate yourself so much, get research, get so immersed in it that you understand so many angles. And after you have understood so many angles, expose yourself to people who know more than you so that then you can continue to perfect your understanding. When you know, when you get knowledge, when you get understanding, opportunities begin to arise. Solutions begin to pop up. So get knowledge, get understanding as much as possible. Expose yourself to people, expose yourself to podcasts, to YouTube channels, to everything where they're talking about these things so that you can immerse yourself. You can get really enlightened in this matter. Get educated. Now the fourth thing you must do is now take action. 
you you're not doing all this just so you can chill and feel like ah yes i've done my contribution you have to take action again when i say action people think big start small start with what you have learn you're still learning right start with what you have you're becoming an expert so allow yourself mistakes and be open to mistakes because mistakes are guaranteed to happen now if you make a mistake with the big project you're just starting out it's going to be disastrous but if you make a mistake with a small project then you can fix it and learn from it so that when it blows up to become big it's a perfect it's better it's a perfect project it's in a better shape than when you started so take some action and sometimes action may not mean you doing the things on your own it can mean volunteering it can mean supporting other people it can mean just being in the vicinity of people who are doing what you want you want to get into the action so that you can then be guided step by step towards what you want to do so many people have amazing plans amazing visions amazing dreams but nothing comes out of it because after they've done everything they don't take any action because maybe it looks too small too insignificant but nothing starts small even the biggest animal like the elephant starts small even the scariest animal like a lion starts small even the tallest beauty started with a little thing where you could jump on right everything starts small if you despise the small beginnings you will kill the king whilst he's still a baby that's the story of Jesus. It just popped up in my head. <laughs> the story of Jesus. He was a baby, okay? But he was going to be a king, you see? So everything big starts small. But the people who stick with things from smallness to bigness become experts along the way. They attract the impact and the income along the way. They perfect their character. They perfect their skills along the way. And they become a force, a force that cannot be denied. So I'm going to ask you, are you going to become an expert? Are you working on becoming an expert in what you do? On which level are you operating right now? Of course, these are levels you can go back and forth and go in. And it's not like in that particular order. But where are you operating in right now? What would you want to learn more about? Let me know in the comments so that we can continue to interact in a profitable and valuable way. Next episode is coming up soon. So I hope you stick around for the next week new episodes on tuesdays if you're on youtube and on thursdays if you're on the podcast and if you're really 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 sure you want to become an expert you want to do great things i invite you to check out the zone of success in the description box that is a program i created it's short through questions but impactful to help you understand areas where you could actually explore and become an expert in and how you could do that check that out and let me know but if you want to get really really deep and work with me one-on-one -on -one, work with me in my group coaching check out the circle of greatness in the description and then we can explore that and see how we can work together it's always a pleasure for me to be here it's always a pleasure to connect with you and hear from you so let me know what more you want to learn from me and i will see you next week my name is mevis tandizo gadjata i'll talk to you soon bye